Cincinnati Reds signed Brandon Drury to a minor league contract. So Drury last season with the New York Mets and the Toronto Blue Jays, we saw some decent flashes from him. And a guy who actually showed some power. So last year, 84 at-bats, 4 home runs, 14 RBIs, 274 average, a 307 on base, and 7 runs scored. So right here, Drury, he was pretty decent for that little time span he was with the New York Mets where they had tons of injuries on their roster and they had no one really to go but Brandon Drury to call up and play some third base and outfield in the corners for this Met team. Now he goes to a Cincinnati Red team that we know over the last week here, they pretty much blew it all up and traded their best players. Jesse Winker gone, Eugenio Suarez gone to Seattle with him, and then traded Sonny Gray as well and possibly more players on the way out. So these are the type of moves the Cincinnati Reds have been making over the last week here. Signing veterans to cheap contracts like Alvin... Like Albert Amora Jr., we saw Colin Moran they signed, and also Donovan Solano. So Drury, I think he's got a decent chance of obviously making the bench here for a guy that's a little bit versatile, playing third in the corner outfield positions here for the Reds. But obviously, he's going to have no fantasy value entering the season as Brandon Drury. But it's good organizational depth. Like I mentioned, it's a veteran who at least could go up there and give you a professional at-bat. So Cincinnati Reds continue the slew of veteran moves to cheap contracts signed in Brandon Drury to a minor league deal. And I think he'll make the roster as a bench player, and we'll see what he does in 2022, if anything, for Cincinnati.